Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, we discussed about the twisted ring counter, and as already discussed, that twisted ring counter is also called as Johnson counter. Okay, let us take uh, uh, the twisted ring counter definition. This uh, twisted ring counter basically shift resistor counter, and this counter is obtained from serial in serial out shift resistor by providing feedback by providing feedback from the inverted output of the last flip-flop to the input of the first flip-flop and the Q output of each stage is connected to the input for the next stage but uh, the last flip-flop okay we consider Q4 bar Q bar output of the last stage which is connected to the input for the first stage so that's why it is called as a twisted ring counter and this feedback arrangement produces unique sequence of states unique sequence of states okay so this twisted ring counter can be realized by using uh, either d flip flops or jk flip flops okay now uh, let us see the working principle of uh, this twisted ring counter initially the flip flops are at a reset condition that means uh, the output of uh, counter is 0 0 0 so q1 q2 q3 q4 is 0 0 0 at the zeroth clock pulse okay after applying first clock pulse after applying the first clock pulse okay see here the q if q4 0 q4 bar is 1 okay this one is connected to this one after applying the first clock pulse the output of first flip flop q1 is equal to 1 why because the input of one input of d1 is 1 so this one is applied to the d1 and the output of q1 is also 1 okay so q1 is 1 and initial way initially the output of q2 q1 is 0 by applying first clock pulse okay this 0 is reaches here and the output of q2 is 0 and this q2 is connected to the input for d uh, d3 okay this 0 reaches here the output of q3 is also 0 and this 0 is connected to here d4 and the output of q4 is also 0 0 okay and this q4 but according to the definition of twisted ring counter the feedback which is collected from q4 bar so if q4 is 0 what about q4 bar q4 bar 1 so this one is connected to here one is connected here okay and next after applying second clock pulse okay what happens so uh, the one is uh, applied at a d1 so output of q1 is 1 okay and this q output of q1 is already at 1 and this one reaches here and the output of q2 is also 1 so 1 and this 0 initial before applying the clock pulse output of q2 is 0 this 0 applied to the d3 and the output of q3 is 0 okay and the output of d4 again uh, 0 and the q4 0 q4 bar is again 1 and this one is again reached here this one again, again after applying the third clock pulse same the output of the uh, q1 is 1 q1 is 1 okay and this one reaches here and the output of uh, q2 is also 1 and 1 so the output of q3 is also 1 why because uh, the output of q2 is 1 here already and the output of Q3 is 0 initially, okay, before applying the corpus, and this 0 reaches here, and the output of Q4 is 0. If Q4 is 0, Q4 bar is 1. After applying the fourth clock pulse, fourth clock pulse, what happens here? So after applying fourth clock pulse, this again, this 1 is connected to here, so 1. So the output of Q1 is 1, and the output of Q2 is 1, and the output of Q3 is 1, and the output of Q4 is 1. So all are ones. After applying the fifth clock pulse, the output of Q4 is one. What about Q4 bar zero? So this zero is reaches here. Okay. So the output of Q1 is zero, and output of Q3 is one. Q3 is one. Q4 is one. After applying the sixth clock pulse, okay. If Q4 is one, Q4 bar again zero. Okay. And this zero is connected to the input for D1. Okay, so output of Q2, Q1 is 1, Q2 is 0, Q3 is 1, Q4 is 1. After applying the 7th clock pulse, so if Q4 is 1, Q4 bar is 0. Again, 
So the output of Q1 is 0, Q2 is 0, Q3 is 0, Q4 1. Again the output of Q4 1. So Q4 bar 0. Okay. After applying the 8th clock pulse, so output is again, what happens here? 0, 0, 0, 0. After applying the 9th clock pulse, again uh, 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is the working principle of twisted ring counter. Okay. So there are 9 possible states are there. Okay. Initially, uh, 8 positive states are there. So initially we are starting at 0, 0, 0 seconds. After applying consecutively 8 clock pulses, and after applying the ninth clock pulse, we get back to the 0, 0, 0. Okay. So this is a working principle of sequence table. Okay. So let us uh, rewrite the sequence table here. Initially, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 are 0, 0. At uh, clock pulse is 0. After applying the first clock pulse, what happens here? So the output of Q1, 1, Q2, 0, Q3, 0, Q4, 0. Second clock pulse, 1, 1, 0, 0. Third clock pulse, 1, 1, 1, 0. Fourth clock pulse, 1, 1, 1, 1. Fifth clock pulse, so Q4, 1, so Q4 bar 0, so 0, 1, 1, 1. Sixth clock pulse, 0, 0, 1, 1. Why? Because Q4 is 1, Q4 bar is 0. Seventh clock pulse, 0, 0, 0, 1. Eighth clock pulse, 0, 0, 0, 0. Mm. Again, ninth clock pulse, Q4 is 0, so output of Q1 is 1, so 0, 0, 0. I guess. And see the state diagram. So, initially, what is the state? We have started here, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. After applying the first clock pulse, so it reaches to 1, 0, 0, 0. And again, 1, 1, 0, 0. And next, 1, 1, 1, 0. And 1, 1, 1, 1. And 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. 0, 0, 1, 1. And 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So these are the states. So, and by connecting and this this is a state diagram as we already discussed that uh, this twisted ring counter produces unique number of sequence of states and this is the state diagram of 4 bit twisted ring counter and see timing diagram let us uh, the timing diagram of 4 bit twisted ring counter is like this way okay so at uh, initial state uh, clock 0 the outputs of Q1, Q2, Q3, Q3 are all are 0, 0, 0, 0. At clock pulse 1, output of Q1 is 1, Q2, 0, Q3, 0, Q4, 0. After applying the second clock pulse, Q1 is 1, Q2, 1, Q3, 0, Q4, 0. Third clock pulse, Q1, 1, Q2, 1, Q3, 1, Q4, 0. Fourth clock pulse, Q1, 1, Q2, 1, Q3, 1, Q4, also 1. Fifth clock pulse, 0, 1, 1, 1. 6th clock pulse 0 0 1 1 7th clock pulse 0 0 0 1 8th clock pulse 0 0 0 0 again 9th clock pulse again it come back to the same so 1 0 0 0 okay so this is the timing diagram of 4 bit twisted ring count okay thank you